Hey, what's going on, my stormtroopers? My name is Chewbacca Plays, and today we have an interesting discussion for you all. As you can see behind me, we have Sans from Undertale and Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, the two most powerful skeletons in all of fiction. And today... I actually broke something. Wait a minute. Ghost, did you crash my recording? What are you doing here? Uh, I broke... How did you even get up there? Get down here. You're my co-host now. Nope. I'm out. <laughs> that? Well, Undertale sucks. You want to have a bad time, brother? Get over here. But serious. <laughs> Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be discussing the yeah. skeleton demon versus the skeleton guardian angel. Who will win and who will die? This is a new series we're going to be doing, uh, where we discuss two characters and who would win in a fight, uh, and you guys give us your opinion on who wins, and you vote in the comments below. And yeah, so what's going to happen is, oh, and the series is called Fight what Night. So today, uh, today I'm going to be taking I'm going to be taking one side, and he's going to be taking the other side, and we're going to see who wins. Now, obviously, uh, I always take Sansa's side, so it was only fair, especially since I'm here with Ghost, who's arguably a bigger Undertale fan than me, it's fair that for once I don't use my unbelievable knowledge of Sans against my opponent. So, Ghost, are you ready to get this discussion underway? Sure. So... When it comes so to them like, fighting... Let's think for a minute. Scorpion is basically... If you believe the lore of MKX, which is very limited from my perspective, because I never really delved into it, let's go with classic, like, MKX. Whenever they die, they get, like, whenever their health drains out, they get a second Okay, turn. well, that. okay, so here's the deal. So, this Scorpion is the, is the canonical game Scorpion. And in, according to the game's canon, Mortal Kombat 9 is what happens in, after Ar Mortal Kombat Armageddon, where M Raiden sends a message to himself back in Mortal Kombat 3 to change the events so Armageddon never happens, which would mean that Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 9 is exactly the same as Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 3. In Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat 10 takes place directly after Mortal Kombat 3. Which would mean this is going to be a much stronger, much more raw, powerful version of Mortal Kombat uh, 4 Scorpion. Anyways, and it depends. Obviously, this is going to be the normal work. AU genocide stance. Yep, but wait, I have a better question. How many people have you killed? The only person Scorpion has canonically killed is Sub-Zero. According to the games, he really hasn't killed that many people. Like, he's killed a few, but, like, the main one, like, it's been hinted at that he's killed a lot of people, but the only one that we ever see him kill uh, is Sub-Zero. So that means Sans is kind of already at disadvantage here, but mm, you never know. But at the same what, time... What, well, Scorpion's still going to have an insane LV, because if you count all the fatalities he's done, I mean, at this point, he's going to have ridiculous power. Like, at this point, Scorpion is probably more murderous and more dangerous than Kara ever was. So that would mean Sans would have a fun time. Yes, but at the same time, Scorpion <laughs> has more than enough power yeah. to, to dodge Sans' attacks. But here's the thing. Scorpion doesn't have termination, so technically he can't reset, so he's only got the one life. So if he gets fucked over by Sans' his first attack, there's nothing he's come, he can't come out of it. He's Actually, well, that's the thing, though, is Scorpion does kind of have his own version of determination. He has Quan Chi's magic. And Quan Chi's magic basically is saying that he's immortal. You know, every time he dies, he's just going to go back to the nether realm, unless A, he kills himself, or B, Quan Chi, you know, destroys him and decides he doesn't need him anymore. 
that's the only way that he can truly die. Because if he just gets sent to the nether realm, since he's a creature that thrives off nether realm power, he's just going to come back. So Sans would have to deal with that. Scorpion constantly teleporting in and out of the nether realm, and maybe even if he gets one good hit on Sans, throwing him into the nether realm. And at that point, you know, the nether realm is basically Scorpion's judgment hall. He gets an attack boost while he's in there, he gets all kinds of bonuses when he's in there, he's essentially indestructible when he's in there, plus he regenerates while he's there. So the only way that Sans could really win is if he turned Scorpion's soul blue and threw him into the nether realm and or broke Quan Chi's magic somehow. Which, if you believe it, Sans could technically have the power to do so. Oh yeah, Sans because definitely. He's not, with, he's, he's not just some lazy bum, he's, a, he's also a man of science. Yeah, yeah. With Sans' abilities, if he sat down and he thought about it, I'm sure that he would find a way to... Uh, He'd easily find a way to break Quan Chi's spell because me, me personally, when you when it comes down to the spell casters of fiction, Quan Chi really isn't that great. Like Sans's okay, magic, yeah. Doctor Strange's magic, there there are tons of fictional characters that are far above him in terms of casting spells. So when you really get down to to Quan Chi himself, he's not he's not that big of a deal. So I I, I could easily see Sans, especially being a monster. Uh, himself being able to see what Quan Chi used uh, and and changing it for his own advantage. I know, I mean, to be honest, Sans is one of the guys, I don't know truly that much about him. To be honest, I think I know more about Papyrus than I do about him. Mm. Well, With Papyrus, you don't need a lot to know, but eh. Well, I'm not well, really a big I'm not really a big Sansy fan. Well, knowing how this would go, more likely than not likely, Scorpion would see Papyrus, mistake him for someone like like Monster, and be like, "You!" and then pretty much obliterate him. Like Papyrus, there's no way Papyrus could ever beat Scorpion <clears throat> without no, magic, I, I, and I magic isn't a thing I, that he uses. I can just imagine Papyrus being like Hello, human, and then just casually gets blown away by a fireball. No, he's just like, hello, human, and Scorpion rips his face off, and he's like, hello, skeleton. <laughs> they didn't realize I had another brother, and then Scorpion rips, like, just his head lights on fire, and Papyrus is like, oh my god, are you okay? And then he just gets, like, fatalityed. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be and then Sans, funny. of course, would be like, Oh my god. <laughs> and just blue eye, bad time, gaster blasters all over the place. Yeah. So. Legit. Just, just imagine each one of these blocks is a gaster blaster right now. So. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> this but, is what would happen. But seriously. Uh, but when it comes down to their overall weapons, Sans has a lot of bonuses. He has his Judgment Hall. He has his, uh, you know, Comic Retribution. He has his Gaster Blasters. He has his Bones. He has he all has kinds his. of different variations of his attacks. Plus, he, he can teleport. Grabby, slimy, slimy, McSorley attack. Plus, he can teleport okay. and dodge at the speed of sound. Like, canonically, it is said that the Gaster Blasters can move at the speed of sound, which would mean that Kara can dodge at the speed of sound, which means Sans himself is faster than the speed of sound. Because he's able to dodge Chara, who would be able to move at at least the speed of sound. Which would mean Sans can either teleport or dodge faster than that. And as for Scorpion, his teleporting ability is pretty much instantaneous, and he's seen being pretty fast himself. I just said, you about the technical piece. What I was thinking is, wouldn't Sans, if I'm right, again, correct me if I'm wrong, everybody's gonna hate me for this, but you know how they say at the very end, it's like, oh, Sans is too strong to die. It yeah. literally says, like, we can even this out right here on the playing field. Sure thing, Sans has, like, god powers and completely 
can just like melt you in a matter of seconds. He only has one health. It even says it in the game. One attack, one defense, can only deal one damage. And he mm -hmm. can't dodge forever. He, but very, he very true. Forever. And that's the big thing with this argument is Sans is extremely powerful, but he has to get the job done quickly. He's going to get tired eventually, yeah. and once he does, Scorpion's going to be something that he can't fight defensively. Scorpion is the most offensive and raw-powered person <laughs> to ever exist outside of people like Goku and One Punch Man. This dude is relentless, and he will find you. There's no running from him. And if Sans slows down, Scorpion's throwing that spear, he's saying get over here, and more likely than not, Sans's head is going to be the only thing that gets over there. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it seems like, and I'm not saying that Sans wouldn't win, there are a lot of ways that would say yeah. that Sans would win, but at the end of the day, ultimately, our winner is yeah, Scorpion. Yeah, Scorpion's win right here. It's very simple. It's just that honest, Sans can't keep up with somebody who has so much more stamina and is so much more complex to kill. Scorpion's very similar to Chara in the way that you have to kill them permanently, and Sans himself, would it would take him a while to figure it out, and he wouldn't have that time on his hands. I know, I know an easy way how. But that's for the next episode. We. Yep. <laughs> so... Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today's winner is Scorpion. This is just a nice little discussion series we want to start on this channel because, you know, why not? It's fun. It's fun to do little discussions like these, and I know that you guys miss me doing more adult videos where we discuss topics and stuff, and I'm trying to bring bring those back as celebration for uh, hitting 150 subs. So, you know, I'd like to thank Ghost so much for joining me, being the Undertale nerd that he is. <laughs> so I didn't have to do both sides myself, because, hey, these shows can get a bit boring without a co-host. So, and let us know uh, if there's anything that we missed in the comments down below. Or if you think that there's a more fight between Sans and Scorpion. Like, if there's an AU of Scorpion or an AU of Sans that you think would be better off fighting each other, if there's a more fair fight. And if you guys point that out to fight. us, we might make a part two with those versions. I know a more fair fight. What would be a more fair fight? Dusttail Sands. Dust Sands versus Scorpion. Dusttail Sands versus Scorpion? Yep. Basically, imagine a level 20 Sands versus this kid right here. You know what? I, I think I have a good idea, actually. Guys, tell us if you want this in the comments down below. If enough of you guys tell us you want Dust Tail Sands versus the ultimate version of Scorpion, like the strongest version of Scorpion that there is, tell us Which I don't know. in the comments below. If you want to see you know, the Emperor of, of the Nether Realm Scorpion fight Dust Tail Sands, tell us in the comments below. Actually, and we'll make a part I've got two. a better one. What's a better one? You guys come up with an AU of Sans, like come up with an AU of anybody from Undertale, and then come up with any version of anybody from MKX, and we'll settle it. Yep. We'll see who'd win. And and this isn't anybody just, from Undertale. And, this, and remember, guys, Papyrus, this is a Sam this is a whole movie. new series. This isn't just between Mortal Kombat and Undertale. You can request yeah. anime characters, cartoon characters, video game characters. I mean, you could you could say Goku versus Popeye, or or Bendy versus Angelina Jolie, Bendy and we'll make it happen. It doesn't matter how ridiculous <laughs> the fight is, or how unfair and one-sided it is. We will still make the video because we love you guys. We appreciate your content. We, we we appreciate everything you do for us, and we we want to make these videos possible for you guys. And, these are going to be longer videos. We're going to try to shoot for 10, 15 minute videos of this just so you guys have a lot to think about, something interesting to buzz around, you know? Because that's what these discussion videos are for. It's to make you view these characters from a different perspective and think. Because Scorpion and Sans are probably the most powerful skeletons in all of fiction. Sans being more like a guardian angel and Scorpion being more like a demon. So it only makes sense for these two to immediately get mad at each other. A potion of luck. 
Yep. Also, uh, don't forget, human sands and human scorpion are both things that could also happen in the future because you've got Hanzo, which is scorpion or scorpion's human self. Hanzo Asashi. Uh, Hanzo Asashi, and then you've got human sands from Human Tail, which would be cool to bring on the show. Yeah. So Honestly. we can make that happen as well. And again, I'm just throwing ideas around. I mean, you guys can request anything from any series. It doesn't have to be this. But I mean, hey, if I see freaking Gaster versus Shao Kahn in the comments below, of course we're going to do it. You know, like just yes. just any characters from anything. If you want to see Crash Bandicoot fight Sonic the Hedgehog, again, we'll make it happen. So thank no, you Crash all so much. No, Crash Bandicoot versus Godzilla. That would be funny. <laughs> That would be Freaking funny. Freaking Godzilla versus Michael Jackson, Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis Presley with all seven Chaos Emeralds versus Super Saiyan Michael Jackson. We'll, we'll make that the April Fool's episode. <laughs> Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Basically, no, I, I have a better one. Blue 2, Michael Jackson. Oh, I give up, I give up. Okay, well, la ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chewbacca Plays. Thank you all so much for I'm watching. Uh, he's Ghost Seeker. And we will see you in the next video. Addies, my stormtroopers. And peace. Bye-bye.